Hi folks, Mangy Fedlocks here. You know, the, so often I hear these stories about uh, people owning exotic pets, and I, I'm i very much against it. Uh, exotic pets belong in their exotic settings. The closest thing uh, my wife and I ever had to having an exotic pet was our son, Lars, and uh, I think that pretty much taught us a lesson that there are just some things you probably shouldn't do. Anyway, the uh, I have a poem I wrote uh, about five years back called uh, On Owning a Platypus. And I think it's got some really good uh, information and thoughts for all of us. So I'd like to read it to you. I do not think that folks like us should ever own a platypus. And heaven knows no average guy should own a pair of platypi. While platypuses are alluring, they're not designed for our procuring. It's arrogant and roguish knavery and surely conduct quite unsavory to place a platypus in slavery. Nonetheless, I'm not inferring you can't play a role in ensuring duck-billed creatures keep enduring. It's pointless to complain or fuss. Instead, support each platypus. If you should find one in your yard, be cordial-like and try real hard to be the sort he'd find hospitable and not in any way formidable. Besides which, polls have shown the platypus prefers his own. But if a platypus stops by, do not be cunning, cruel, or sly and try to keep him for yourself like some knick-knack on a shelf. Do what is right and let him be. All platypuses should be free. I want you to take some time to think about that. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Take care, stay safe, and you just let those platypuses be.